Uh, this video is going to cover how to uh, start to work the Sony A37 um, DSLR camera. So I'm going to attach it to a tripod here. So I'm going to have to collect up the uh, tripod shoe. So the tripod shoe off, thread a hole here, uh, match them up yourself while holding the, tri the camera very carefully and screw that in so it's nice and straight. If you are using this around your own head or whatever, please use the strap. This will avoid you dropping the camera, which you really don't want to do. Okay, so with that attached to the tripod head, you can then lock the camera on to your tripod and start getting to work. Okay, the camera itself is switched on using this little slider here from on to off. When it's on, the viewfinder at the back lights up and you'll use this to help you work the thing. Uh, crucially enough, there are loads of little controls on the dial here and if you're familiar with using any digital camera you may recognize some of these. Uh, we're not going to get into using anything at all except for the movie mode. So you must make sure it's in movie mode, which is not M, it's the one beside M that looks like a film screen. That's the one that you have to be pressed on to record movies. Movies are recorded by pressing the red movie button here, that's your record button. So with everything then set up and the lens attached, you can start to have a look at what some of the menus do. So if you can see the menu screens here, um, this is just indicated that I'm in movie mode, so I can press OK. This is not a touch screen. You have to actually press the little dial buttons here to get this to work. So I press the middle button to say that that's OK. And I'm now in uh, movie mode. So one of the things you may want to do is to set the white balance. So the little function button here, function button, FN, gives you a range of options. Um, many of which like picture effect and stuff you may or may not want to use. Picture effect, for example, has got black and white and sepia and things like that. But white balance is something you should probably always do. So set the white balance. If I press OK here, I can go with the custom settings that they have, which may or may not be much use. But it's usually best to go with your own uh, white balance setting, which is this little icon here. So with custom, you show the camera what the color white is, in this case a white page, and you press OK, and that then calibrates all the other colors so that the image now looks a bit more realistic. Um, so that's how you use white balance. Um, the other things you may need to do when you're using this is to adjust uh, the ISO settings. So ISO is a button down here. If you press it, you've got different options now. Um, if you set the ISO setting very high, the image becomes very bright. And this may look like a really easy way to compensate for poor lighting, but you should realize that the higher the ISO number goes, the more um, sort of grainy or lower quality the image becomes. So you're better to go with the lowest setting that allows you a half decent image. Now for this one, I'm actually gonna adjust the exposure further by pressing this little button here. Okay, so this button also let you adjust the exposure compensation. So I'm going to bring that up a wee bit. And um, that gives me a half decent image. I'll probably do with more lights in here. Um, but that will get us set up to begin with.